It's the rematch. San Francisco fans have been waiting for all year their chance to see if they really could have been a contender. Their chance to see if they really could have been somebody. Obviously, it's going to be a big one on the road and stuff. We know that. Everyone knows that. Oh, man, it's going to be a great one. What else am I going to do? Roll over and die easy? Not once in my life. 49ers return to the scene of the crime in their minds. Philadelphia, the Eagles await. How many of these epic battles do we have to play in a row? Hurts on a quarterback draw. He's at the five. He's in. Touchdown. The Eagles win. Hurts does it again. Oh, my God. Hurts does it again. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We always find a way, you know, and that's something you can't really take for granted. Um, and it's hard to quantify. It's a rematch and a potential championship preview all wrapped in one. 49ers fans and players have contended for close to a year. If Brock Purdy hadn't gotten hurt versus Philadelphia in last year's NFC Championship game, we would have gone to the Super Bowl. Brock Purdy has been taken out of the game. Why Purdy out? So let's see it then. Purdy and the 49ers offense is healthy. Philadelphia's isn't 100, but their offense is fly. Eagles flying maybe higher than it has all year. Jalen made some big time plays with his feet today on some scrambles. I think, you know, you can see that he's feeling pretty good, right? Their rush attack last week featured more than just Jalen Hurts getting pushed for a yard. He was actually taking off with the ball. 65 yards rushing, two scores. Hurts takes the snap. He fakes the game well. He's back. He steps up. He's pumping. He's going to run. He's across the 30. He's at the 25. He slides down at the 24. DeAndre Swift complimented him perfectly. You are bad. 80 yards, 5.7 a carry. Handoff goes inside. Running with the football across the 45 40. 35 30. It's Swift. Hugh and Ice Hurts and Swift versus Fred Warner, Dre Greenlaw tag team matchup then. I'm the guy! I'm him! 49ers holding running backs and quarterbacks alike under four yards per run this season. He gets hit at the line of scrimmage and he drags Warner with him for maybe a yard. Hurts and the Eagles offense looked so sharp week 12 because their run game and pass game came together. Must have played the Beatles before the game. I, dude. Hurts through three touchdowns, so accounted for five scores. Not a bad day. Pointing, planting, firing to the end zone, and it is caught! Oh, what a play for the Eagles! Still Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown, who see most of his throws. Smith has been the hotter of the two recently, 106 yards last week, 99-plus yards in three of his last four games. Hurts. One for the end zone, and right there with the catch for the touchdown is Devonte Smith. Brown scored versus Buffalo. He keeps, he rolls, he looks, he throws, touchdown, A.J. Brown. Only 37 yards, though, three straight games now. He hasn't cracked 70. It won't be easy to do against San Francisco if they stick Charvarius Ward on him. Man, he strapped, locked, painted himself on the back of DK Metcalf last week. Uh, I think he's done that against all the number ones this year, and um, we have immense confidence in him. I think he's playing at an all-pro level. Nine targets, only three catches allowed, just 32 yards. Smith's throw to DK Metcalf is incomplete. Charvarius Ward over there on that long throw to the sideline. 49ers play versus wide receivers in 2023, still in elite territory. Same is true of their play versus quarterbacks. Gino throws the out cut. Oh, he's intercepted! Hurts has to try and dissect San Francisco's secondary with a loaded pass rush on his back like Peter Griffin after a night at the Clam. Gino back, time, pressured, he gets sacked! Back inside the 20 yard line! Get in my belly! 49ers busted out a sack sixer versus Seattle, so Pawtucket Patriot ails all around. Gino's gonna get sacked again. He held the ball, they ripped his helmet right off his head. Chase Young didn't even have one. Nick Bosa sure loves having him though. Two bags last week, he's the NFL leader in QB hits. Bosa passed Bosa. once they got Gino down. Sack for Nick Bosa. He's San Francisco's right-hand man. If right tackle Lane Johnson is healthy enough to go, that's a big boy battle. Young is San Francisco's lefty, so he goes mano a mano with Jordan Mailata. Six sacks allowed this season. Only three left tackles have given up more this year. He's allowed a higher than average pressure rate, too. Pressure hurts. Lost the ball, and I think he got it back. And he just wins with speed. Jordan Mailata, the left tackle. Eagles line gave up two sacks last week. Both came from the hands of defensive tackles. This week, they get Eric Armstead in the middle. He had a sack versus Seattle, and some dude named... Javon Hargrave, Har, 
Hargrave, Javon Hargrave, he had a sack and a half last week. Remember that dude, Philly? Tino in trouble, and they got to him. Javon Hargrave, that's the guy they added before the season started. All right, look, if San Francisco's front is Peter after a night out at the Clam, then what is Philadelphia's? Homers post Moe's, defensive tackle Jalen Carter, four sacks, defensive end Josh Sweat, six and a half, outside linebacker Hassan Reddick, eight and a half. Second down to 10, and Mahomes gets plastered by Hassan Reddick. That group didn't do much versus Josh Allen, though, part of why that game turned into a track meet. They gave up 339 yards passing to Allen, 105 yards and a TD to Gabe Davis, a touchdown to Stephon Diggs, 74 yards, 47 yards to Khalil Shakir, 57 to running back James Cook. Here's the snap, fake to Murray, quick hitter to Gabe Davis on a slant for the touchdown! And the Bills are back in front with 152 to play. So you're thinking, man, Brock Purdy and the boys are gonna have a field day with that. Should be pointed out though, they faced 51 pass attempts, held Allen under seven yards per attempt, and their two corners, Darius Slay and James Bradbury, balled. Bradbury may have given up a touchdown, but he picked off a ball and defended five passes. Let me tell you, five PDs in one game is super rare. Allen pumps, fires, it's intercepted, it's intercepted! BCB, 19 TDs, 6 INTs this season, leads the league in rating by a wide margin. We're all holding our breath as soon as he lets it go. Purdy scans, there's Ayuk in the middle, to the end zone, touchdown! Went through the progression, trusted in B.A. being there, and, and just let it rip. It was just a hell of a throw. Slay and Bradbury versus Debo and Ayuk. Hey, 11 pretty good, huh? Uh, 11? Yeah. Brandon scored last week. Ayuk! Ayuk! Ayuk is on fire! Samuel found the pain as well, 79 yards, his second highest total of 2023. Looking downfield, Debo's open again. He's got him again to the 30-yard line. CMC and George Kittle, quiet week 12s. What? You're a black guy. I know I got punched in the face. But both clearly potent pass catchers. Purdy throws complete for the first down, it's Kittle. And Kittle faces a Philadelphia defense, giving up a 125.3 rating to tight ends, worst in the NFL still. Gino inside. There's a completion to the tight end. Disley takes it just shy of midfield. What's impressive about the 49ers offense Philadelphia faces, they throw less often than anyone in the NFL, yet Purdy puts up over 260 passing yards per game. It's not close. He's way ahead of the field. I'm talking about the Patrick Mahomes and the Josh Allens and all those guys. That was awesome. It was actually really good turkey. The turkey was really good. Well cooked. Wasn't dry at all. And that was a satisfying turkey. So if they take to the air so little, it means Philadelphia's defense has lots of run stopping to try and do this week. San Francisco, a run CMC first type of team. You know, I think anytime you're running behind this old line, you just have to have a lot of trust and patience. McCaffrey, two more TDs on the ground last week, 114 yards, six yards per carry. You never know when the hole can open. It's the goal for the Niners from the eight. McCaffrey comes left, that door is closed, but he finds a way through, and McCaffrey twirls to the end zone for the touchdown! I look up to that kind of stuff. He gives us a spark, man, and an energy to the offense when we need it most. Elijah Mitchell went for 39 yards, 5.6 a run. Debo scored a rushing TD. Side give to Debo to the end zone, Samuel! Opening drive, touchdown! Eagles gave up big rush yards last week, but most of them were to Josh Allen. No problems versus Buffalo's running backs, holding CMC's position to 3.7 yards per run on the season. They go to Cook. Cook. Nope. Oh, look at that swarm. Wow. What a front. So I got to ask the people in charge of flexing, what is it that you say you do here? Well, Philadelphia just played Sunday Night Football and Monday Night Football. Yeah, they're the best team in the NFL playing a run of crazy good games. Give the people what they deserve, I say. Why is this under review? There should be no love between these two teams, no love between their fans, which I hope to see in the comments section. Panel of 10 should be good.